So I decided to do something a little bit different for day eight. Um, this is during the trail. We just had lunch. We're near Deer Creek. And now, not an, anymore the Ansel Adams Wilderness, but the John Muir Wilderness. We'll talk about that later. But um, what's better than having some uh, food than with whiskey? Yeehaw! Yeehaw! So, um, fuck in. Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah! Um, uh, in, I tried putting all the resupplies, a small little Tupperware of whiskey. Um, I could have made this a little bit better, but it's right here. Ugh. It's a beauty. Um, it's wild turkey. It definitely tastes strong. And uh, Bill's been having, uh, enjoying it with me. A little bit of Nostrovia. Prost. Shot before we go on our little 5.6 mile journey. Uh, last little bit to Ducks Lake. And I'm spending the day listening to Freakonomics. And right now, I've found that there's a relation between how Chicago public school teachers have cheated and sumo wrestlers have cheated. So it's been a good day. It's been a good day. So, uh, yeah. Ugh. Hello. So, day eight. Uh, this is end of day, part B. Uh, part A was me showing you that I like drisk, drinking whiskey in the wilderness. Um, we are at the, lunch. yes, for lunch. So we're at the base of base, or uh, we're at the base of base lake. No, we're at the base of ducks, uh, duck lake, which is right behind us, up over that ridge. Um, cool thing is, is that this part of the JMT I've actually done before with Alex, two years ago, 4th of July weekend. Um, what we did is we hiked up to ducks lake and then we went to Rams lake. Then Alex took me on an adventure off trail over Pika Pass, which was, it was interesting. However, the weather was a lot better. <laughs> we uh, are looking at the horizon and we do see some rain, and, but it's not as bad as it was with Donahue. So we're in a better, we're in a better state. Uh, this is also Ann's final meal. She's final meal. our final meal with us. Together. She, getting off. yes, you're getting off. Yes, you are getting off. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, she's done. Um, uh, she'll be doing like a total of 68 miles, which is still no small feat. Sadly, she can't join us for the entire trip, but I mean, it's still been a pleasure being with her. Uh, why are you going home, on? Because I miss Avondale. There you go. You miss it. Uh, I miss Joey too. However, uh, Joey's looking like he's doing fine right now without me, and this has been one of those lifelong dreams. You need somebody to cuddle with, and I'm not reciprocating. So <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's show uh, some of the sights around here. Uh, we're up at around 10,000 feet. We're in this small little gully. Uh, it's starting to rain a little bit again, but it's more like sprinkles, and now it's actually starting to rain, so I'll be quick. Uh, over there, where the hell did it go? So over there we got this really cute waterfall that's the outlet of Duck Lake. And out in the distance right there you can see some of the mountains. Uh, hopefully the rain doesn't keep going. It's kind of getting old. Uh, out in the distance you got these beautiful mountains which are experiencing a lot more rain than we are. Um, uh, so yeah, we are now successfully in John Muir Wilderness. We had a brief stint in Ansel Adams. For those who don't know, Ansel Adams was a famous photographer who went through the High Sierra and got uh, photographs of the high, uh, got photographs of the backcountry. A lot of things which um, were used as a way to protect um, this area, and co Congress followed through. So I mean, I'd what stuff is in there? Oh, I got it directly from the stream. All right. It's good. It's good fiber. <laughs> um, and so uh, I'd suggest that you go look it up, do a Wikipedia article on Ansel Adams. But um, we would have been in Ansel Adams longer if it wasn't for the rainstorms that pummeled us uh, south of Donahue. So now we are in John Muir Wilderness. We're going to be in John Muir Wilderness for the next five days and then we're going to be in Kings Canyon and Sequoia National or Kings Canyon National Park then followed by Sequoia National Park and an exit back into John Muir Wilderness. John Muir Wilderness is actually one of the larger wilderness is <laughs> 
out here in the Sierra. Um, it, it actually, uh, think of it as more like an upside down horseshoe and it encompasses the uh, Sierra National Forest and, um, uh, and all, or actually in, it, the Sierra National Forest and Inu National Forest manage it cooperatively and it hugs right around the top of Kings Canyon and it goes pretty long south on the east side of the Sierra. So that's where we're going to be. Uh, we'll do a little bit more musing about John Muir later for those who don't know who John Muir is. Anyways, cheers.